We got a big celebration going on behind us. We're going to let you look in now. Darren Looker, our public address announcer, getting set to introduce this North Dakota team, Penrose champions again. NCHC Commissioner Heather Weems getting set to present the Julian Spencer Penrose Cup. On behalf, can you hear it? On behalf of the NCHC, its member institutions, and the board of directors, I am honored to present the Penrose Cup to Captain Reese Gaber and the North Dakota Fighting Hawks. Throughout the conference season, UND has demonstrated consistency by taking points in almost every series in the gauntlet that is the NCHC. Thank you to all the Fighting Hawks fans, and, the <laughs> and best of luck to UND as the playoffs begin in just a couple of weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, with their 21st conference championship in program history, and their sixth NCHC regular season championship, the 2023-2024 Penrose Cup champions, your University of North Dakota Funny! For this team, waiting for this moment with the C on his chest. He came back in part for this reason, to have a chance to lift that trophy, and Griffin Ness gets it right after him. How special for those guys that came back. He stuck with this, and that's why he stuck with it. He's going to be a member of this program forever. He's going to be another Penrose Cup champion. Reese Gaber, though, boy, he didn't want to give that cup up. You could oh, see what that. that meant to him. Just exceptional, special stuff, and you see these guys just really embracing it. The seniors getting the cup first, and listen to the crowd go crazy for an outstanding goaltender. This young man was so good for a Miami team that just did not win many games in his three seasons in Oxford. He came to this place to have a chance to do something like this. And now he gets to skate that cup. Now for the amazing picture that will be in the concourse somewhere here that they will take. <laughs> Their sixth Penrose Cup in the 11 seasons of the NCHC. Steph Patton and Gage Osmus lifted it back in 15 and 16. See Dr. Greek getting in there. Oh, we love that now. Awesome. Greg, Greg honored yesterday. Yes. The longest tenured member of UND hockey. Other captains including Jordan Kawaguchi and Mark Sendin getting to lift the trophy in recent seasons. Reese Gaber joining that group. Colton Pullman, of course, winning it to start that run of three in a row back in 1920. Listen to this crowd. 24 Cup champions, the University of North Dakota Fighting Hawks. I mean, look at Gaber. He doesn't want to get rid of that thing. <laughs> it means so much to him. Special night for him, especially with all the family in town, senior night. The captain, we talked about he came back, not just for this trophy, but this was one of them that they wanted. His dad, Mike, went to high school with UND legend Bob Joyce, a part of that Herkus Circus team in 1987 that won a national championship. Bob wore the C. 
Now Mike's son have an escape with that trophy with the C on his chest. And now we transition from a Penrose Cup celebration to the recognition of the four four-year seniors who have not had a senior night, along with Hunter Johannes, who didn't have one last year. This is special stuff as we get a chance to celebrate these guys. Enjoy. Four special young men, two of whom have been with this program for four years. The other two joining this past season. For Gaber and Ness, it's their third Penrose Cup win. But it's just as sweet, whether it's your first, second, or third time. Now one more skate around this rink. They will, of course, be back here in two weeks' time for the NCHC quarterfinals. But this is their night. Yeah, it, it was a night that they will never forget. I, I can tell you just that how it worked itself out where they had the opportunity to go in 
You, you talk about how everyone plays for their seniors on this special night. North Dakota usually brings out an extremely good game plan and plays well for those seniors and then to put the cup on the line as well tonight. Boy, I tell you, always a special night, but this is extra special. One more six salute now for these four. From Gilbert Plains. We gotta go get from that him cup. To ask, get the cup out there, Reese. Yeah. Don't, have to, don't have to ask him twice. <laughs> Love it. Eden Prairie and Wyzetta represented as well. Manitoba, Minnesota, and Sweden. All together here in North Dakota. Carson Albrecht, of course, got to do this last year. Just because he didn't know if he was going to be back for another season. Garrett Pike, Logan Britz, Keaton Pearson did it last year at their respective stops for these four. And this is their moment, and they have earned it. And to do so on a night like this, as you said, Jake, when you have a chance to be crowned champions as well, you couldn't draw it up any better. No, and I, I think it's a big learning lesson, too, of, I, I, you know, they made this game probably bigger than it was because of the special elements that came to fruition of this night. And not to let that slip out, they learned a lot from a hard team coming in here and how they have to play. And I just think they did an exceptional job, just top to bottom, no passengers all weekend long, just winning by committee and closing this out on senior night to win that cup in this building and to win it outright. That's extremely special. As per tradition, hugs now for the seniors. They know the journey's not over, of course. Still two more games left in the regular season next week at Omaha, then right back to the route where we know they will play Miami in the 1-8 matchup in the NCHC quarterfinals. We hope a couple of trips to St. Paul are coming in their future as well. But you can see how special this night is when you have a chance to sit back and think about what's your time in this place with these people and a part of this special program means. Yeah, it does. And, uh, you know, it's weird because this one isn't as sad as they usually all are be for me, especially because I just feel like this team's got so well, much you know, more. You know what's coming. I next. just yeah. So I'm like, this isn't like a final <laughs> chapter for me. This no. is just excitement tonight, which is weird. But I think it's just because this team is just it, they're going about their business in a really workmanlike factor. They just they're going in with a purpose and they're just finding ways to win games so this is box one checked they got another trophy they want to win here in a few weeks and they want to get to that frozen four and that's the real reason why Reese Gaber came back but this is an extra special night and you get to see those guys just soaking this all in if you recall we got introduced of course to Reese and Ness in person even though he was wearing red back in the pod four years ago Gaber and Griffin, a part of a freshman class that included guys like Jake Sanderson and Tyler Clevin. Think about that. This could have been their senior night. Not in this universe, of course, that Jake and Clevin are going to stick around for four years. But you forget, Cooper Moore was a part of that team, of course, who's now playing for Quinnipiac. It was a small freshman class that season. Louis Jamernick joined midway through. That group went on to raise a Penrose Cup. This group now does the same. The Pene Rosa, right back here in Grand Forks after a one-year hiatus.